celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant as we pray, O Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you, for it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, heard a voice from heaven speak to me. Here are my two witnesses. These are the two olive trees and the two lampstands that stand before the Lord of the earth. If anyone wants to harm them, fire comes out of their mouths and devours their enemies. In this way, anyone wanting to harm them is sure to be slain, so that no rain can fall. They have the power to close up the sky so that no rain can fall during the time of their prophesying. They also have power to turn water into blood and to afflict the earth with any plague as often as they wish. When they have finished their testimony, the beast that comes up from the abyss will wage war against them and conquer them and kill them. Their corpses will lie in the main street of the great city, which has the symbolic names Sodom and Egypt, where indeed their Lord was crucified. Those from every people, tribe, tongue, and nation will gaze on their corpses for three and a half days, and they will not allow their corpses to be buried. The inhabitants of the earth will gloat over them and be glad and exchange gifts because these two prophets tormented the inhabitants of the earth. But after the three and a half days, a breath of life from God entered them. When they stood on their feet, 
great fear fell on those who saw them. Then they heard a loud voice from heaven say to them, Come up here. So they went up to heaven in a cloud as their enemies look on. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for battle, my fingers for war. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. My mercy and my fortress, my stronghold, my deliverer, my shield, in whom I trust, who subdues my people under me. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. O God, I will sing a new song to you. When a three-string lyre, I will chant your praise. You who give victory to kings and deliver David, your servant, from the evil sword. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Please all stand. Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. Our Savior Jesus Christ. Has destroyed death and brought to life to light through the gospel. Alleluia. Alleluia. your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Some Sadducees, those who deny that there is resurrection, came forward and put this question to Jesus, saying, Teacher, Moses wrote for us, If someone's brother dies, leaving a wife but no child, his brother must be or must take their wife or the wife and raise up descendants for his brother. Now there were seven brothers. The first married a woman but died childless. Then the second and the third married her. And likewise, all the seven died childless. Finally, the woman also died. Now at the resurrection, Whose wife will that woman be? For all seven had been married to her. Jesus said to them, The children of this age marry and remarry, but those who are deemed worthy to attain to the coming age and to the resurrection of the dead neither marry nor are given to marriage. They can no longer die, for they are like angels. And they are the children of God, because they are the ones who will rise. That the dead will rise, even Moses made known in the passage about the bush, when he called Lord, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And he is not God of the dead, but of the living. For to him all are alive. Some of the scribes said in reply, Teacher, you have answered well. And they no longer dared to ask him anything. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning po sa inyong lahat. And welcome to the Pilgrim's Mass 
of the Minor Basilica and National Shrine of Jesus Nazareno. And so we pray especially and we offer this Mass for those who are on a journey at lalong-lalo na yung mga galing pa sa malalayong lugar at nagpunta ngayon dito sa Quiapo Church para dumalo at magsimba. Ang buhay natin, mga kapatid, ay laging inihahalin tulad sa paglalakbay. Life is often, often compared or seen as a journey. At katulad ng bawat paglalakbay, ang buhay natin meron ding katapusan. At pag sinabi nating katapusan, meaning we are pertaining to a destination, ang patutunguhan natin. At sa ating mga pagbasa ngayon, itinuturo tayo sa ating patutunguhan. At isa lamang yung patutunguhan natin, hopefully. At yon ay walang iba, kundi ang Diyos. Sa ating Ibanghelyo, ang unang tinuturo sa atin ay ang katotohanan na merong kabilang buhay. Merong muling pagkabuhay. The Gospel teaches us the reality of the resurrection. Ito yung pinakasentro sa totoo lang, no? Ito yung pinakasentro ng ating pananampalataya. Lahat ng ginagawa natin, lahat ng pinaniniwalaan natin, ay dahil naniniwala tayo at sumasampalataya tayo na merong muling pagkabuhay. At kung papaano ang ating poong Jesus Nazareno ay muling nabuhay, ganun din naman, naniniwala tayo, sumasampalataya tayo na ang bawat isa sa atin ay muling mabubuhay. At yun yung pinangahawakan, yun yung tinuturo ng ating Panginoon dito sa ating Ebanghelyo. Kaya nga, nung nagtanong itong mga saduseyo na hindi naman naniniwala na mayroong pagkabuhay, ang sinabi ng ating Panginoon na totoo, mayroong pagkabuhay, mayroong kabilang buhay. At ito yung pinanghahawakan nating lahat na sa dulo ng ating buhay, umaasa tayo na muli tayong mabubuhay. And so, tayo mga Kristiyano, Dahil na tayo mga katoliko, we are called the Easter people. We are Easter people. Ibig sabihin, tayo ay mga tao, tayo ay mga mananampalataya ng muling pagkabuhay. Na ibig sabihin nito, inaasahan din tayo na mamuhay bilang resurrected people. Meaning, inaasahan tayo na mamuhay bilang mga tao na talagang naglulook forward sa muling pagkabuhay. At kung tayo ay talagang inaabangan natin, talagang inaanticipate natin yung muling pagkabuhay na yan, dito pa lang sa lupa, makikita na sa atin na kung tayo ay talagang inaabangan ang muling pagkabuhay na yan, kailangang umili, umalis tayo sa ating kanya-kanyang mga libingan, sa kanya-kanya nating mga kadiriman ng libingan. Ano ba yung mga nasa libingan natin? Ano ba yung nasa kadiliman natin? Yung mga kasalanan natin. Yung mga pagkakamali natin. Yung mga paulit-ulit nating ginagawa na hindi mabuti. Bilang resurrected people, as resurrected people, as Easter people, we are being called to get out of our tomb and be alive. Meaning, dito pa lang sa buhay natin, no? marami kasi sa atin, kahit buhay, kahit humihinga, parang hindi naman buhay. Parang hindi alive. Parang nananatili pa rin sa kadiliman ng libingan. Na kung tayo nakalugmok sa kasalanan, para tayong nasa libingan. Parang hindi tayo Easter people. At kung tayo nakalugmok din sa ating, you know, sa mga kalungkutan natin, sa worries natin, sa mga agam-agam natin, para na rin tayong nasa kadiliman ng libingan. Pero ngayon, pinapaalala sa atin ng ating Panginoong Kristo na ang buhay hindi lang din naman sa kabilang buhay, kundi dito sa mundong ito, sa kung nasaan tayo ngayon, meron na ding buhay. 
at tayo ay buhay. At ang panawagan sa atin, habang nililook forward natin, habang inaasahan natin na sa dulo ng buhay natin, tayo ay mabubuhay o muling mabubuhay, ngayon pa lang nawa tayo ay tunay na mabuhay. At sana ang pag-iisip na ito, ang pag-iisip na ito at ang pagninilay na ito na indeed meron ngang kabilang buhay, may inaasahan tayo, may it inspire us na mamuhay ng tunay dito sa mundong ito. At ang tunay na pamumuhay ay pamumuhay sa pagsunod sa ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Mga kapatid, ang buhay natin ay tunay nga paglalakbay. Ngunit ang paglalakbay na ito ay magdadala sa atin sa ating tunay na destinasyon. At ang ating tunay na destinasyon ay walang iba kundi ang ating Panginoon, ang muling pagkabuhay. Pero habang hinihintay natin yung pagkakataon na yun na muling mabuhay, inaasahan tayo at inaanyayahan tayo ng ating mga pagbasa, mamuhay din tayo sa mundong ito. Mamuhay tayo na katulad ng isang tao na meron talagang inaasahan sa kabilang buhay. Ibig sabihin, mamuhay tayo sa ngala ni Kristo, mamuhay tayo na nagmamahal kay Kristo, mamuhay tayo na sumusunod sa ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Amen. Please all stand. God is patient and aware of our miseries. Let us pray to Him to help us on the way to conversion and renewal. For every petition we shall say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church throughout the world may continue to preach the good news of the resurrection and the life of the world to come. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That in our daily lives, we may bring the light of hope to those who live in darkness and despair. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our, hear our prayer. prayer. That the poor, the homeless, and the needy may experience the Lord of life in the love and generosity of those who who are kind to them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick and those who suffer may discover the healing presence of Christ in their lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who have died may find joy in the certain hope of resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, Lord, hear our, our prayer. God of the living, may this Eucharist give us a longing for the eternal banquet which you have prepared for us, where we will enjoy the happiness of your presence forevermore. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. we gather today in your house we kneel down and pray we ask for your mercy as we open our hearts to receive your forgiveness O Lord Lord up to you all of these gifts we offer for your glory 
We will eat this living bread. We will drink this saving cup and feel your presence, O oh Lord. As we offer this bread and as we bring you this wine, bless them, Lord Jesus, feed us now, give us life. Send us your Spirit the source of our lives and together we will serve you with love please all stand pray my dear brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to god the almighty father may the lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the, the praise and glory, glory of his name for Thank our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, O Lord, we pray that we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the prize of everlasting happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, in Him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in His fullness. For though he was in the form of God, he emptied himself, and by the blood of his cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore, he has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy Lord of God, of heaven, host heaven and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in, in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please all kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took the bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please all stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, 
we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. John the Baptist, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done on earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you, Paul. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Peace only. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Para sa lahat ng tatanggap ng banal na komunyon, sasagot po tayo ng amen pagkasabi ng pari o ng lay minister ng katawan ni Kristo at isubo agad sa bibig bago umalis sa harapan ng pari o lay minister. Sumunod po tayo. One bread, one body, one Lord of all, one cup of blessing which we bless, and we Throughout the 
Deboto, mabibili pa rin po sa ating Paris Finance Office ang Nazarene Images, Nazareno Images, Nazareno Medallion at Nazareno Novena Booklet. Available pa rin po ang ating mga All Souls Envelope sa mga nagnanais. Maaari kayong kumuha na malapit sa mga pintuan ng ating simbahan o sa Information Card. Isulat lamang po ang mga pangalan ng mga kamag-anak, kaibigan at mga kakilalang na mayapa o sumakabilang buhay na. At sa buong buwan ng Nobyembre, ito po ay ating isasama sa lahat ng mga misa na nagaganap sa ating simbahan. Available na po ang opisyal na kalendaryo para sa taong 2025 ng ating parokya. Sa mga nagnanais bumili, maaari kayong magtungo sa ating Paris office. Ito po ay nakakahalaga ng 80 pesos. Ang oras ng ating finance office ay mula alas 8 ng umaga hanggang alas 5 ng hapon. Pagkatapos ng misa, biwisikan po ang lahat ng banal na tubig. Pinakikiusapan ng lahat na manatili lamang muna sa inyong mga lugar. Sa Quezon Boulevard o Plaza San Juan lamang ang labasan ng lahat. Sumunod po tayo. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalaw at pagsisimba.
sa Basilica Minor at Pambansang Dambana ni Jesus Nazareno. Please all stand. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of Him may bring us growth in charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We now pray for the dead. Let us pray. O God, the Creator and Redeemer of all faithful, grant unto the soul of your servants and handmaids their mission of all their sins, that through devout supplications they may obtain the pardon which they have always desired. Absolve, O Lord, we beseech you, the souls of your servants and handmaids from every bond of sin, that in the glory of the resurrection they may be raised up with your, with your saints and elect unto newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. And let perpetual light shine upon him. May the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Blessed are you, O God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. You have given us your only Son to be our way to you. Make us follow him generously, faithfully, and lovingly. Merciful Jesus of Nazareth, you have revealed God's grace and unconditional love for us at the cross. You set your church in this world from which the true light would shine for all to see. Grant that we who enter this holy shrine may walk in your ways as disciples of justice, peace, mercy, and hope. We offer our prayers for the sick, the oppressed, the youth, and those in need most of your mercy. Hear our humble petitions. Bless these religious articles that we may be fervent in prayer and charity. As we continue our journey as your pilgrim people here on earth, may we set our hearts on the road to heaven, our true home and reward, where you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in the peace of Jesus Nazareno. Thanks be to God. Padre Jesus Nazareno, sinasamba ka namin. Pinipinto ko ka namin. Amin, ay at kaligtasan sa Padre Jesus. Sareno, pinigtas mo kami sa kasalanan. Ang krus mong kinamatayan ay sa gisag ng aming kaligtasan. Presto pa rin sa reno, ang alam na hari. Nuestro Padre Jesus na sa neto niluwalhati na hari. Nuestro Padre Jesus na sa neto dinarangal na hari. Padre Jesus Nazareno Iluwalhati